tonight, it is the first of its kind in the state, brand new technology designed to catch criminals red-handed. Good evening, I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Douglas County investigators are the first to get their hands on it. It's a brand new laser system. Spots fingerprints and previous technology may have missed. KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with the big story you're seeing only on 7. Rob and Brandy, we had the chance to step inside the crime lab and watch this laser next to me here in action. And as you can see, it makes fingerprints vivid and therefore it's easier to ID. Now authorities tell me this will make our streets safer while saving your tax dollars. Under the light, it's clear as day, an array of fingerprints that, to the naked eye, would be invisible. Without this light source uh, and goggles, you would never be able to see those prints. It's called yeah. a forensic tracer laser, one of the first updates in about a decade to Douglas County's up. crime lab. And the actual physical technology, we don't get to come across very often. But forensic scientist Josh Connolly says now that it's here, it'll change their investigations. Let's show you how it works. It starts with this box attached by a cable to a light, about a thousand times brighter than a standard laser pointer. The initial cost um, of the device is about $35,000, um, but the upkeep and maintenance is very, very minimal. Kill the light and apply a barrier. On our camera, it's just a filter, but for investigators, it's these orange goggles. And the result is unlike anything Connolly seen before. We weren't letting bad guys go or anything like that. Just, we weren't getting everything that we could have. Because Connolly says for about 15 years, the forensics so department this used this, an ALS, or alternate light system. We have a lot of instances in which we process items of evidence where we can see very, very faint detail, um, but there's just not enough there for us, especially as fingerprint examiners. It looks similar to the new laser, but Connolly says this packs less of a punch. He says with the ALS, you'd have to rotate filters to find the right one. But he says the tracer laser eliminates the guessing game. Decreasing the amount of time it takes us to find evidence, which is then going to just improve throughput. We're going to be able to get more cases done in a, in a week or in a month. Connolly says this system even works with old fading prints. He says these new fluorescent chemicals react with amino acids in our hair, teeth, and of course skin. Um, up at the top, I said test prints 1017 2013. They're a little bit less intense than the ones that were just freshly placed. But they're still a lot more um, visible. Visibly changing how scientists case a crime scene and hopefully helping authorities close more cases. But everything that you can do better is obviously better for the public and better for us. Now, Douglas County paid for the tracer laser with money from the seizure fund that comes from drug busts and the auctioning off of seized property. So, Kindly tells me taxpayers didn't foot the bill for this one, but he says everyone certainly is going to benefit from it. Back to you. All right.